Hello YouTube. So in today's episode we are going to take a look at what's inside this mosquito bat right here. So I have already taken apart the body of this thing and I already unscrewed all those screws just to make this video a little bit shorter. So and actually I was actually uh, experimenting with the circuit board itself. So I already had that unscrewed and everything is in place. So this is what it looks like in inside. This actually has a battery right here which is providing the power when this switch is pressed. And the board right here is actually a high voltage inverter. This converts the, I think this is a 4.5 volt that has a battery. Anyway, let's just measure it. There's a meter over here, so measure the voltage across these two pins showing 3.9. Oh, it's a 4 volt, yeah, it's a 4 volt. Maybe it's a little bit discharged a bit. Okay, anyways, so at present it has 3.9 volts. Let's just keep that away. So, this battery is providing the power for this uh, inverter board. So let's take a look closer. This has a battery and an AC con AC input, which is actually which actually recharges this battery. So to say exactly, this board has three sections. In particular, the input section, which contains the rectifier that is used to recharge this battery. And after the rectify section comes the switching section which switches this DC to uh, an AC signal and then it contains a high voltage transformer which converts that uh, low voltage AC to a very high voltage AC on these two pins here. This trans this section here, this the uh, one, two, three, four. these six pins uh, are the transformer primary these are the secondary and these are the primary pins and only uh, two of the output pins are used for the actual output and this one and these this one is used for the feedback okay so uh, and what co comes after this high voltage transformer is a voltage multiply circuit which actually doubles or even triples the output of this high voltage transformer and that's what gives the power to actually kill the fly which is trapped inside between these two pins. And I have already taken about and desoldered these wires because as I told earlier I was experimenting with the circuit board. So I have already taken that apart and let's take that apart. This thing actually has uh, three meshes, one on top, one on top and one on the inside and one on the other side. The inner loop forms the positive and the outer mesh forms the uh, negative. So this is the board. Actually let's sh make sure that there is no charge left. Okay, so it's actually discharged if you... It's actually discharged anyways. So let's unscrew it and see what's on the other side of the board. Pretty straightforward. I think we can actually see that. So contains the uh, contains a series dropping uh, capacitor right here, which drops the input AC voltage to a more manageable low voltage AC, and then it contains four diodes, which forms a bridge rectifier. And that section recharges the lead acid battery, and the AC. Let's take a look at where the AC signal goes there. Okay, that that's that's pretty much it. The input section is uh, the input AC section is only used to recharge the battery. I think there is no other connections going in, or even since the battery is connected to the same terminal as the rectifier point, it's 
Uh, maybe even the AC is on. You can actually without even without the battery, you may be able to turn the device on. Uh, I didn't actually try that, but the connection says so. Anyway, I may be wrong. Let's try that later on in another video. So, uh, as I was explaining, this section right here forms the bridge rectifier and the series dropper, which is used to recharge this battery. And this transistor right here, and the transformer. This is a high voltage transformer. And this is a, this is a switching transistor that they have used. This one, this okay. Let's this one right here. This is a switching transistor, and which is connected directly to the primary of the. Is connected directly to the primary of the transformer. These two pins, and this one and this one is a feedback, which provides the necessary feedback for the sustained oscillation of the uh, switching section. Okay, there are some few current limiting resistors, one for the LED and one for the transistor. And the output of the high voltage transformer is connected directly to this, this, sec this section right here, which forms the, this section forms the voltage multiplier. So since there's one, two, three, three diodes and three capacitors, I believe this to be a voltage tripler or a three stage voltage multiplier. Correct me if I'm wrong, I may be wrong. But yeah, that I think this is a three stage voltage multiplier. But anyways, you get the point. The output of the high voltage transformer goes straight to the voltage doubler circuit and finally at these two points is where the mesh is connected. This, these two points hold a very high potential because there you have used a very large value capacitor right here. And yeah, that's pr that's how the circuit works. So let's just see if what happens if I press it. I think you may be he may be able to hear his hissing sound. If I click it. I don't know whether you're able to he hear that, but definitely I can hear the hissing sound. Now this board is charged. So if I place the, did you see that? That's the power that kills the insert that is trapped in between. So I hope you got an idea about how this thing actually works. Anyway, let's just do one more thing. I do have a I do have a, a, a small I do have a small neon lamp right here. This is a neon lamp. So let's try lighting it up with this high voltage. So if I just keep these two buttons here and I will be holding this button, this end right here. If I turn this on, did you see that line? I was able to power that up. And that is a high voltage side in fact, so I can, if I discharge that again, yes, yeah, there is no energy. and can even light up this up uh, pretty brightly from this section also this okay. if I try to light it up from this two points which is actually the output of the high voltage transformer before the voltage multiplier I also get pretty good okay. okay it's a little bit trouble to hold the camera and so I believe you can see that glow right there that's actually glowing much better there. so yeah that's how your mosquito pad works see you on the next video thanks for watching